everybody, Mark, aka The Nerdy Punk, back again today for a new video. Hope you guys are doing well. Uh, today I'm getting ready to head over to the movie theater, and I'm going to see Furiosa, a Mad Max saga, which is the prequel to Mad Max Fury Road. Um, I've never seen a Mad Max movie, so <laughs> uh, I wasn't really sure if I was going to see this or not, but I haven't been to the theater in a while, and... There's really nothing besides this that really piques my interest. So I wanted to do a theater trip here, and uh, I'm, I'm interested in seeing this movie. I've actually looked into it a little bit, and according to several people, at least on the internet, <laughs> um, this is actually a fine movie to watch if you haven't seen the others, um, because it's a prequel. And from what I understand, Fury Road and Furiosa are separate from the original story, if that makes sense. Um, I'm pretty sure none of the characters overlap between the first three movies and then the, these two. Um, so because it's a prequel to Fury Road, it does somewhat make sense to watch it before Fury Road. I actually have Fury Road on Blu-ray, so I'll probably end up watching it sometime in the next few days, weeks, you know, maybe. We'll see. <laughs> um, it depends on how much I like Furiosa. But of course, the big kind of news with this movie is how poorly it's done at the box office. Uh, this released last weekend, I want to say. Um, whatever Memorial Day weekend was, which I think was last weekend. I'm on summer break. <laughs> the days don't really matter to me as much right now. Um, but yeah, it, when it released over Memorial Day weekend, which is usually a big weekend for the movie theater, it had a really bad week. Um, it only got, I think, 30-some million dollars, and it's a $160 million movie, I think, something like that. So needless to say, not a good week at the domestic box office. And so that's kind of been the talk of the movie world uh, recently. So I wanted to see it and see if it's uh, deserving of making more money. I have a feeling it will be. It's got pretty good reviews, um, and it's kind of a mystery to most people as to why it's uh, it did so poorly because it's a holiday weekend it's got great reviews it's you know based on a pretty popular like not overwhelmingly popular but pretty popular uh, series so you know it's kind of a mystery <laughs> to most people as to why it uh it struggled so i'm gonna head over to the theater i'll see you guys in a couple seconds for you guys a few hours for me and i will give you my thoughts on furiosa a few moments later all right, guys, just got out of the theater from seeing Furiosa, and uh, I really enjoyed this movie. Um, as for, you know, kind of watching it without seeing the others, I think it's fine. I, it's a pretty self-contained story. I'm sure there's some things, some, like, Easter eggs that I would have picked up on if I had seen the film, the other films. Um, but I didn't really feel like I was missing out on a whole lot by not seeing uh, Fury Road or the other films as well. Um, my overall thoughts on the movie, I think it was really, really good. Well-executed action sci-fi type thing. Um, post-apocalyptic, yeah, the, the genre, you know, it d did a very good job of, uh, of showcasing that genre. Now, there were some things, some minor kind of complaints that I've got with it. Um, some pacing issues, just a few, uh, things that I felt like moments that it was slow and then it kind of jumps through time pretty quickly and then it gets a little slow again and I just wasn't 100% sold on the pacing of the film. It's also divided into like several chapters and there's a couple moments where I was kind of like it felt like that should have been the end of a chapter but it wasn't um, and you know I felt like that was kind of hit or miss. Um, the performances I thought were fantastic. Chris Hemsworth, this is the best thing I've ever seen him do. Uh, very impressed with his performance. I, I'd heard this, I think I watched uh, Karsten Runquist's video about, uh, about this movie, and he kind of compared uh, Chris Hemsworth's performance to Heath Ledger's performance as the Joker. Now, not saying that they're equals because they're not. Uh, Heath Ledger's performance is one of the most iconic of all time, but this performance did kind of remind me a little bit of that performance, 
if that makes sense. Um, there's some elements of it where he goes from being very comedic to being very sinister very quickly. Um, it felt like that was definitely an inspiration for the performance uh, in this movie, but it wasn't quite as good, obviously, but it was still a fantastic performance for the, the film that it is and for uh, Chris Hemsworth just in general. Um, other things that I really loved, Anya Taylor-Joy, big Anya Taylor-Joy fan, so happy to see her lead a movie like this, and she does a fantastic job. Uh, the action, really solid. There are moments when the CGI looks a little iffy, but uh, for the most part, it looks really good. The action sequences were phenomenal. There's a couple that I will be thinking of for quite a while. There's one that's very reminiscent of uh, the chase scene in Raiders of the Lost Ark, if that uh, is familiar to you guys. I'm sure many of you have seen that movie. Uh, it reminded me quite a bit of that, but it was just up another level. Uh, I just really, really enjoyed the action in this film. Uh, if you're looking for an action movie, you really can't go wrong with the action and the stunts in this movie. Um, the overall just kind of vibe of the film, the colors were, were very bright and uh, it was looked very good for the most part. Um, overall, pretty positive opinion. I'm definitely going to watch Fury Road after this to see how they compare. Um, my grade on Furiosa is going to be a 3.5 out of 5. Really solid film. Couple things, you know, that it could have done better for sure. But uh, I just really enjoyed this movie. And I don't know how this movie flopped. <laughs> like, this movie should not be flopping at the box office. Go see it in a theater if you get the chance. Because it's definitely worthy of that big screen experience. Um, the sound alone in this movie is worth the big screen experience. Like, it was blasting me <laughs> with the sound. Maybe a little bit too loud, but uh, it was really good. And you can just feel, like, when the motorcycles are revving their engines, the seats are literally shaking. That's how amazing the sound is in this movie. So definitely go see it on a big screen if possible. And um, uh, that's going to kind of wrap up my thoughts on Furiosa. I hope you guys have a great rest of your week. I will see you guys later. Bye.